This is Max Tucci, and you're watching Eye on South Florida. We're live at Sundance at the Yarra Hotel Theater with the one and only George Whipple. yippee i -O, <laughs> Cowboys! We're in the West here. We are in the West, and you're a 20-year veteran of Sundance. My God, yeah. It's just I brought my cane and... Uh, <laughs> and your my, wooden coins. Yeah, my wooden <laughs> coins. I got everything here, but... 20 years. Now, yeah. over the 20 years, really, what has been your experience and have you seen a change? Well, I think it's changing all the time. I mean, I think when Redford started this 30 years ago, it was the showcase for writer-director films. Mm -hmm. And I think it still tends to be that way. But what's happened is there's been an arc of kind of celebrity and swag during mm -hmm. that period. And um, I think the celebrity power continues to increase each year because celebrities use this venue, they use these independent movies as a way to relaunch their career mm -hmm. or to play against type. And then you have this swag phenomena. Where, you know, you go into <laughs> a all about store, the swag. <laughs> you go into a store and everything's free. And uh, that peaked probably before the crash in 2006, mm -hmm. seven, something like that, where you literally went home with two suitcases full, full of, of stuff. boots <laughs> and jack. I mean, did you get anything this year? I didn't get buckets. Oh, we have bags and bags. Oh, <laughs> man, I'm obviously a loser here. You no, did... but the best thing I got was the George Whipple wooden coin. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, because that can get I me a Prius, right? <laughs> wooden nickels. Most kids don't know what these are. Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> now, here's the thing. We're here at Sundance. Yeah. Have you seen any movies? <laughs> I've seen about four a day. Okay. Now, if you ask me one of the names, I probably won't be able to remember them, but uh, <laughs> I'm in a blizzard of movies. Yeah, I okay, love it. Good. I used to ski in the morning and see mm -hmm. about four movies a day the whole time. And you time travel with your dog. I, my Mayfair is here. She's been on Facebook two or three times, <laughs> and she's very happy, but she was mad as hell when I said I got to go interview with Max, and she didn't want to go back in the room. She ran. I had to go run after her, grab her, you and put see. her back in the room. Yeah. Is it easy traveling with a dog during Sundance? Well, it is for me because okay. she's a little dog, Jack Russell. I just put her under the seat of the plane, and she comes out. The Yarrow's very cooperative. They let her stay, but... You know, I think it's better to be with her than to leave her in a kennel at home. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you are known as Mr. Society, and here you are in Sundance. We've seen your pictures on Facebook, and you're, like, rubbing elbows with everyone. Who's been your favorite person so far that you've rubbed elbows with this time? Out here? Yeah. Um, I think that Philip Seymour Hoffman is making a big, big comeback here. Mm -hmm. um, he's got this movie, A Most Wanted Man, which was the most wanted movie. I mean, I couldn't even get in to see it. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get tickets from the publicists. And he has this other <laughs> movie, kind of God's um, Pocket which is an absolutely incredible movie, which I did see, about an area in Philadelphia, a really working class area, and there's a, you know, a death and a, a controversy and all sorts of, uh, of, of interesting things. And it's a great movie. He's a great actor. I really think this is his festival. He's kind of returning to acting after a little bit of a break. We welcome him back. He's one of the greatest actors alive. And uh, so he was the he was the highlight of the, of the festival for me. Yeah, that's super. All right, and now here we are, the weather. How has it been? Oh, man. Because <laughs> everyone talks about you it. You know, this is a combination <laughs> of Florida and freaking New York City right now. There's snow everywhere, but it is bright sun. And it's very warm during the day. You can walk around, you know, in a jacket. Absolutely. But boy, when that sun goes down, it's a desert. Frigid. And it <laughs> drops, man. You could just imagine these pioneers at night in these mountains. You know, it dropped and you were dead. I mean, and it's you know. Done. <laughs> you are you are dead. And all they find is your wooden nickel. <laughs> yeah. Next year a few bones and a few wooden nickels. That's Tell it. us about your jacket real quick, George. Well, I, you know, I always like to get in the costume. It's fun to dress up. And when I come west, I always put on a Stetson, and I put on a fringe jacket. You know, I feel like David Crosby in the 60s <laughs> at Woodstock. None of you remember this because I'm an old person, but I was at Woodstock. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's kind of fun to do that when you come out west. But you do not wear your cowboy boots out here. That's right. Because you need insulated boots. And I got swag Uggs on. We got the same swag. All right. <laughs> and then two years ago, I had swag Sorrells which is one of my favorite boots. These are very important products in, in Florida. You definitely want Sorrells and Uggs, you know, to keep your feet warm on those cold days. And it's happening now. Yeah, it's happening now. <laughs> now, what is your survival kit to Sundance, George? The most important thing is the feet. I mean, you got to keep those feet warm. That's the most important thing. And the second most important thing is to just go with the flow. You know, you cannot really plan anything 
you know, you try to go see the movies that you see, but you can't get into some of them. So you have to relax and just go to the next one or you can't enjoy the mountain air. Yeah, exactly. You got to like <laughs> chill out, man. It's a chill out festival. Yeah. And I, you know, that's really the key because everyone comes here, they get so stressed out and my publicist this and my publicist that. Yeah. But just go with the flow. Yeah. My publicist is very mellow. <laughs> I've got a team of 20 people out here and, um, you know, but she's very mellow. So she's been, <laughs> she's been relaxed with the publicity. She just said, Keep handing out those wooden nickels. They're there very you good. go. Yeah. And on that note, we're going to keep handing them out here at Sundance. I'm Max Tucci with George Whipple, and we're live at Sundance 2014. Thank you, George. You bet.